four months of stakeout. Still, we have found no sign of Steve. Hey, how's it going, buds? I'm Arthur Eby, and I'm out here, basically in the middle of nowhere, trying to observe the new atmospheric phenomenon, Steve. Supposedly, it's this new strip of light that appears all around the world. It's been reported in New Zealand, the southern United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Alaska, all over the place. NASA has enlisted the help of the public to try to find it, so we're going to take some long exposure shots and see if we can find it out there. By taking a few long exposure shots in all directions around the sky, we may get a chance to see the natural phenomenon more easily. All right, it looks like we won't see any sign of it tonight, but that's the problem with it. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. It's not Aurora Borealis, and it can't be Aurora Australis either. It occurs way too low in Earth's latitude, and it looks completely different than either of them too. It's just a strange white band of light in the night sky. The fact that it's occurring in both the northern and the southern hemisphere make it seem like it's not even affected by Earth's magnetic poles. We don't even know what it is. It could be aliens, but probably not. It could be that Earth is losing some of its electromagnetic pull, making it so that the particles are occurring lower in Earth's latitude than normal. Or it's just the magnetic core sloshing around in the Earth, causing slight variations in where the magnetic field lies. Either way, we're running out of time. We need to learn more about this strange phenomenon. So, we'll keep an eye on the sky and embrace the future. Be a part of it and think about it. <laughs>